All right. You would like to go back into the forest? Yes, definitely. Okay. All right. We're now looking actively through the forest. All right. As soon as I try and cycle back to where I was, there I am. I want to go east. Okay. You are met with more woods. This is beginning to look very familiar. Yes, unfortunately it is the same map. But it is a different forest. Then I want to try and go north from this eastward position. All right. So here. Okay. Well, perception for me. Nine. All right. You hear more stomping up north from you. Well, my goal is to actually find the Ent, so... I want to head north. Okay. Right about here. And you hear active rustling. Something is just beyond the fog. I want to try and attune my perception. Right, well, perception if you want. Four. The only thing you can hear is the rustling of branches. I want to cautiously approach. Through the fog, you actively do see a large tree figure. walking about with three prone figures which appear to be just as covered with rot as the man you had just killed. Okay. This large tree figure. We'll go over to this one. Pick it up and set it in line with these three over here. Does the tree figure have any rot on him? The Ent does not have any rot on it. Does the Ent seem, seem intelligible? You have not heard this thing speak or do anything more than pick up a corpse or a prone figure. You are unsure. Then I wish to approach Ish. And kind of just clear my throat to get the Ents' attention, because Ents aren't necessarily evil. The large tree mass will hear you and slowly turn to meet your gaze. I... Hello. I'm Skaith from the Adventurer's Guild. But do you happen to know what this rot is? It's plaguing the town. This large sentient tree here will respond to you. But it does not know what this disease is. But it is plaguing the forest. 
I am here to help cure it. Okay, we'll slowly turn around and begin waving its hands over the bodies in which little grass weeds will start to envelop the bodies like cocoons. Is that how you cure it? The figure tells you yes. Roll reflex for me real quick. Sure. I'm at a loss here. Five. You are knocked prone. Something takes you out at the knees. You are knocked on your back. Okay. Whatever this is has knocked you down, but it's underneath your legs now. I want to... What is it? I want to find out what it is. Shortbread has talked, has tumbled you over. It's bowled into you. Oh, come on, Shortbread! This dog perks up and now notices it's you and is happy to see you and will actively jump on you and begin to lick you in the face. Shortbread, I told you to stay in the town for your own safety. Shortbread will tilt its head, looking confused again. You're an intelligent dog, but you're not that intelligent, are you? It will tilt its head the other direction. I didn't think so. I just ruffle his ears. He wags his tail. I approach the Ent... ...ish and ask, how does covering them in plant life cure the disease? And slowly, the tree figure will turn around to meet you again and inform you. The rot does not like the green. It does not like the light. It has an adverse reaction cures them. Thank you for this knowledge. In my hand, I mentally check off and not an issue right now. So, Ent, check. Blue Fungus, Check. Now I've got to find the hermit. Okay. Hey, shortbread. The dog parks up. Do you know where I can find the hermit? The dog actively starts patting the ground like he's ready to do something. Go, shortbread! The dog looks quizzically at you again. Lead the way? No, that's not a command. Fetch won't work, I don't have anything to throw. Sick him as attack. I don't know dog commands! I guess we just start walking then. Let's head north. You I suppose you kind of wait a second trying to figure out what to do. Short Red will actively start sniffing around. And it appears he finally picks up on something. And is now actively following some form of trail or scent sign or something. Then I follow. Follow the dog a further league into the wood. All the way up yonder. Up here. Shortbread reaches a point where he actively looks 
like he's supposed to have found something. He's circling the spot right here. Like he's either lost the trail or something's wrong. I call it perception. Roll it. Nine. All right. You actively see the branches of this tree begin to move unnaturally. Like as if it were windy, but it is obviously not. I want to... I'm going to do something a little D&D-ish. I want to try and ready control plant eye. Okay. If it happens to be one of those possessed mossy creatures, I want to try and do what the Ent did and wrap it in grass. Okay. This tree's branches will actively move unnaturally and form a very foul, gigantic face of the tree. The tree forms into a very gnarly looking like very teethy face of branches. A, a nightmarish figure in the dark of the tree of, if to give it some context. I want to try and dispel magic. Okay, you can. You don't even need to roll for that. You actively have successfully used dispel magic, but nothing is affected. So this is not actually the hermit's illusory magic. Roll perception. Two. Two is frankly actively good enough. With I will give you perception since you are right here next to this thing. You notice it is quiet. This tree has moved and bent and contorted without any active sound from these branches. It is an illusion. I wish to just walk on. Also, Shortbread is not reacting in any manner, so... Shortbread is still sniffing about. Shortbread's supposed to have found something here, you think. Short okay, well. Red actively points at this, in this direction and barks. Then I head that way. Right here. I go that way. Short Red stays where he's at. In the fog of the dark forest here, you see a figure that is cloaked. And sure enough, very colorful rags. Its back is turned towards you. Excuse me. Scathe will reflex for me. Eight. Alright, not good enough. Take 25 psychic damage. Ouch. As this cloaked figure whirls around and you are staring at the face of an illithid. You are looking at a mind flare. This close. Right here. Oh no, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. No, 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 this no, no, no. This thing actively is taken aback and frightened by you surprising it. It will hold its hands up in front of its face, almost cowering. This illithid is cloaked in very musty rags and has a big wooden sign wrapped around its torso, almost confining its arms. And a small shimmer of something hanging around its neck as well. But this thing is holding its hands up, as if afraid of you.
That couldn't be right, could it? Am I suffering from the psychic damage still? Am I like under? I want to. No, it was just straight up like it just gave you a massive migraine kind of deal. Okay, so I'm not like okay. I just kind of pieced something together. Uh, what was the name of the hermit again? Stanley. Okay. Um. Short bread will actively come up to this figure and side saddle beside it. That's what I thought. Do you happen to be Stanley? I, I say as I'm holding my head. This being does not respond to you in any language you can understand. It muddles something and kind of lowers its hands a little bit, seeming to be not under attack by you. I just kind of hold my head and just hold up a finger. It's like, hold on. I want to pull myself together. Okay. Shortbread seems to like you. I can't understand a word you're saying, though. It takes Do a second or two. But you faintly hear the whisper of something kind of in the back of your mind. Can't quite make out what it says, but you've heard a voice. I want to try and in attune my perception to my own thoughts. Alright, you, you actively have done that. You are now intentively listening. I just say, try again. You faintly hear, what do you want? The townspeople. I'm an adventurer from the Adventurers Guild. I was here to assist with an ant problem. I'm also trying to assist with the Blue Moss, and the townspeople were also worried because an individual named Stanley did not show up like he normally did for big dinners. Um, with that, would you like to roll perception again? Yes. Do so. Eleven. All right, you can now, that you're not freaking out over psychic damage, you can in fact see that this squid man has a necklace similar to what Brother Yaidi had around his neck. Okay. And you can now try and read this wooden sign that is wrapped around this figure as well, if you would like. I wish to. It is scratched in some off-brand of common, but it is so withered that... Would you like to see what it, what it used to say, or what it looks like now? I would like to see what it looks like now. Because how am I supposed to have any knowledge of what it used to look like? Because you believe you can possibly discern through the dust and the age of what it was supposed to be, like when letters are missing. Well, I'd like to try and see it now, see if I can guess it. Actively now, from what you can faintly make out through this broken up comment, it looks like the scratched name of Stan Lee. Okay. <laughs> well then, that's that's who he is. Got it. This voice comes to you again. It says, The tree does not take kind to me. The ant? Okay. Why not? The figure does not respond. Okay. Um, but the townspeople were worried about you. Uh, 
I'm just glad to see that you are okay. The voice comes back through. He will not let me leave. You don't happen to have any of the blue mold on you, do you? You actively wait a minute before you actually act actually hear a response again. In the words of the sickness? Yes. And the figure shakes its head no. I just say, I, I nod my head. The Ent is trying to prevent that sickness. I'm not certain why he will not let you leave, but I can talk to him for you or with you. Before your response is heard, you hear footsteps behind you again. I turn around. You are quickly met with a rot creature. I have that spell ready. Okay. I'm going to roll for it. Do so. Please, 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 please. Why you no like me? Creature has not charged. It is actually just standing here. It's not really doing anything. Do I perceive anything? Before you can even attune to perceive anything, this figure falls limp like a rag doll. How is that possible? The voice I, comes I... through again. I can sleep. Put them to sleep. Gotcha. So then I want to approach the creature. As does Shortbread. I want to try and do what the Ent was doing and slowly wrap it up in plants. You can do that without any form of roll. You actively get some grass to envelop this thing into a large cocoon. As that is a very slow casting spell that takes a little bit of focus, I, I can understand why it was just given to me, because it's very slow and not a quick reaction spell. As, well, you are doing this out of the corner of your eye, right here, you spot another figure. I turn. It doesn't say anything, you just see it. I just know. Still tossing this orb in its hands ever so confidently. idea. Shortbread does see him, right? Shortbread is looking about the body. You appear to be the only one who actually sees this thing. Oh. So, well, no, wait. Akron the voices out. Yeah. Kind of infuriating, huh? No one can believe you either. Like, not necessarily infuriating, this is just the way it is. Maybe I should show up more often. I would love someone to talk to that we that was actually from my own time, so please. Sure, I'm up for a conversation. 
good, because all I've ever wanted to be is friends, and even if you're an enemy of mine now... The Illithid actually walks in front of you to just take five psychic damage, because you do not like these things. As yeah, it no begins problem. to contemplate what in the world you are doing with this plant magic. Friend or enemy, I don't, I'm all for a conversation. There's at least some familiarity. No, he says shortly. Okay, fair enough. But my only question is, still, why have you targeted me when I've not necessarily been the root of your problems? It's always been the wrong place at the wrong time for both of us. Well, that may be true, but you can handle things better than I can, but... Let's just say I needed someone to pick on. Okay. Well, I'm all for a healthy rivalry. Right, rivalry. He actively laughs. <laughs> oh, please! I wouldn't waste my time with you other than this. You're only the front because not only were you just in the wrong place at the wrong time, you have what we need. And keeping you here doing this is. Well, just, I guess, delaying the inevitable. What exactly do you need? I don't have any more of those orbs. The stones? He questions. Correct. Through, my, through that travel through time that you accidentally sent me through, I never collected a single one of those extra stones. No, no, he active, Akron actively face palms. You are more of an idiot than I remembered. This is just too good. No, no, you dunce. The, the sentient stones. The ones you kept locked up at your house we couldn't get. The cosmic yes. rock that was previously on your arm. Yes. We needed five of them. You had four of them. Right. I don't have them anymore because you sent me through time. Everything got jumbled up again. They don't exist anymore. Mm. At least in my possession. Exactly. So we're retrieving them in your absence. How is that possible? We're past the... Um, we are past the time... We are outside up. of your time. Didn't they teach you anything? No one taught me anything of time travel. Oh my goodness. This is too good. You're even more clueless than I thought. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I mean, uh, since it doesn't look like you're going to really do anything about it, uh, well, we are going to get those stones, one way or another. We are going to resurrect our god. And we are going to, well, how do I put this? Simply take back what is ours. The only thing that is ever yours is your own decisions. And my decisions are pretty good, I'd say. He tosses these, this orb up again, playfully catching it like he's practically juggling at this point. And there's nothing you can do, he says sing -songly. The next time he tosses it up in the air, I want to try and force pull it towards me. Go for it. Please give me something awesome. That is pretty awesome. You snag it right out of the air. Do you intend to catch it or just hold it in the air? I intend to catch it. You, like, force pull it right into your hand? Yes. You completely catch him off guard as you snag this thing right into the palm of your hand. The last thing you recall is a quick NO! coming from him. A quick blinding light. And you are in Homestead. Give me one second. Do not look at the screen. I will try not to. I'm going to go scroll off into the blackness. There. I see nothing now. Uh, 
All right, bottom right corner down here. Far, far bottom right corner. You're not going to be able to I see am, anything. I know you can't. I am in the. I am in the far right corner in blackness. Correct. Yes. You are in the middle of the streets of Homestead. Okay. Everybody, like you're in the marketplace, everyone is just walking about you nonchalantly. You are no longer holding the blood orb, it is sitting at your feet. Ever so slightly <laughs> wiggling like a Pokeball. <laughs> the note in your pocket resonates again. I unfurl furl it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. I grab it. You actively grab it. Another bright flash of light. And you are completely, you have the wind knocked out of you as you are now prone. And you are actively back at the well. With the cultists. Yeah. And the two corpses. Fun. And we're going to have to stop it right there for right now. Perfect.